guys, how's it going? This is the Informatic Tech, and Android 6.0.1.1 is finally here for the Samsung Galaxy S5. So let's take a look at the Android Marshmallow for the S5, and let's also compare it to the Android Lollipop update. Let's get right into the review. So guys, starting off with the user interface, you cannot notice a uh, difference. In fact, you won't even know it's Marshmallow until you go into the settings and check out the easter egg. So I will also compare it to the Android 5.1.1 and as you can see the notification panel looks just about the same. And also when you go into apps, they are the exact same apps. There is absolutely no difference and uh, Marshmallow seems to be a tad bit faster while opening apps and also the closing animation is a little faster but that does not hold true for opening the camera for some reason it has a delay in opening the camera maybe it's because i flashed it dirty over 5.1.1 but i don't really know now the only app that is new with marshmallow is the internet app that is the internet 4.0 now that is good but you can get the internet 4.0 apk and install it on 5.1.1 what the heck and as you can see the icons are new but the apps inside are the same and also the recent apps is exactly the same and uh, also as you can see the app closing animation is changed and the animation now is just like the one on the samsung galaxy note 5 and there are obviously the android 6.0.1 emojis and there are a lot more and yes now you can flip people off now you can be happy and flip people off with your s5 hooray but as you can see there are a lot more emojis and now when you press and hold the home button now on tap comes up and also another marshmallow feature that got added is the doze mode so the standby time will be drastically improved and i will show you that later in the video the lock screen is exactly the same if you were wondering and also the notification panel when you expand it it is also exactly the same on both so that didn't change but the software update area did change which is useless because they are not going to give out any more updates and also now you have your most contacted contacts on the top while sharing and you have the smart manager now so i think that's a positive thing and now you have the new styles of the folders and you can obviously change the color still and what you also have is the volume changing ui from the samsung galaxy note 5 and i think it's a direct port it looks really nice and as you can see here are some stats and as you can see it's flat the standby time is absolutely excellent and you can get good screen on time oh yeah Team store wasn't added and I think that is a bummer. So in the end this uh, 6.0.1 update is pretty damn average. It isn't something impressive but I think you should install it anyway because it's the latest Android and there are a few uh, positive sides to it but uh, that's all I have to say. So guys uh, that was uh, the Android Marshmallow on the Samsung Galaxy S5 and a little comparison as well with the Android 5.1.1 and I must say not a lot has been changed and it, it is quite a disappointment and Samsung really should have added uh, more features but I guess that's what custom ROMs are for and I was helped to make this video and actually the S5 that I was using in this video, the G900H variant, wasn't mine, it was actually my cousin's and his name is Ali Heather. You can check out his channel right over there, I will leave a link. But yeah guys, that's been it and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace and advice.